So in my last video, I recently built my dream home in Boxburg, and in today's video, we're going to be decorating it. So if you didn't watch the last video, this is how the outside of my dream home ended up looking from the outside. As you can see, I've added a few more things such as pink trees on the outside. So far, the plot value is $498,000. So let's start decorating. Okay, let's go. Now, I think the first room I want to work on is the living room, which is going to be in here. Now, this is kind of my inspiration for the living room. As you can see, it's kind of a mixture of like modern, contemporary. And I also want to do like a Japanese thing. So if we want to give it that like nature look we can have slate for the walls oh my god and then we can have waterfalls at the back here i think that is the most extra thing i've ever done in a living room but you know what this is my dream home there is no limit however we are going to need like a little tv cabinet for our tv so i think i'm just going to make this out of a basic shape also i don't know why but i thought that like granite was a good idea for the floors i've never used granite for the floors but like you know what i don't hate it so the thing with like japanese style homes is that a lot of them are like in with nature so i want to make sure there's a lot of greenery in this house and just overall lots of plants. Guys, that is absolutely disgusting. I'm looking in my mirror right now. I can just see Samira eating her toast behind me. Shut your bubblegum dumb dumb looking at and then we can do like different plants instead of just boring trees. See, because why does that actually look good? Now for the actual living room itself, like I said before, I don't want there to be heaps of furniture in this house. I feel like the more minimalistic it looks, the more cleaner it will look. And that's what I'm going for, a nice clean house. And also this carpet is way too small. But if you overlay a carpet, it makes this stupid gray thing in the middle. Oh, Bloxburg, fix your problems. I'm kidding, love you, don't bend my account. Also the funniest thing happened to me on a Roblox horror game. If you didn't no, I started posting on my second channel again, so if you aren't already, subscribe. Anyway, I was playing a Roblox horror game, and I actually ran into one of you guys, and I'm not kidding, you guys actually thought I was the developer of Boxburg, and you literally said to me, you unban my Boxburg account, please. And I'm like, I don't have the abilities to do that, and they're like, don't you own Boxburg? And I'm like, no. Like, could you imagine if I own Boxburg? That would be a mess. I always struggle when painting my couches because I just, I genuinely do not know what texture to have my couches. Okay, damn, she looking cozy. Now we need the coffee table. And guys, duh, this is my dream home. Obviously, we are doing a custom coffee table. I'm gonna try and do something I've never done before. See how this section's really long? What would look nice here is a rectangular coffee table to break up the space. Oh my gosh, when she talks like an interior designer. Nani. And then it's like a semi-transparent cube on top. I love how I was like, I'm gonna do something I I've never done before. I've literally done this coffee table like 10 billion times. Also, if you haven't noticed, another thing I done off camera was just add these little pillars and some plain high arches around the walls just to give the room a little bit of structure. Okay, so I think that's it for the living room. Lastly, we just need a chandelier and you already know we're gonna be adding this spiral chandelier, except we're gonna be adding two of them. So they're kind of like crisscross applesauce. See, tell me it doesn't look like the heavens above right now. Okay, so now that the living room is done, I think we can work on this little entry area. The reason the entry area is so small is because in the garage, I actually deleted the underground garage and we're just gonna leave this section here because I want there to be windows all around my garage. So when you're in the house, you can actually look at the cars. Oh my God, my voice, hello? <clears throat> Guys, I keep losing my voice. I sound like an old man. This happens every year. I'm not kidding. Every single year I lose my voice and it will last like a week. I'm not even sick. That's what's confusing me. Like if I was sick, yeah, okay, understandable. But I'm not sick. So what's going on? Okay, what should we have in this little nightstand? A fancy historical sculpture. I feel like we need a mirror in here. Like in my dream home, I would definitely have a mirror at the entryway. So then that way when I'm leaving the house, I can check what I look like. Because the amount of times I've left my house wearing like slippers, I remember once. Oh my gosh, guys, don't laugh at me. In year 12 of high school, which is senior year, if you're American, I had one of my final exams coming up, which is the HSE, and I literally left the house wearing bunny slippers because I was in a rush. And I mean, the funny thing is, no one questioned it. Okay, so there's our entryway. Next thing I want to work on, I'm thinking maybe the kitchen. Because the kitchen's going to be right here, backed up into like the massive open area here. I did add windows, but you know what? I think I might knock these down, to be honest. Because like I said before, I want this to be very open. Will someone break into my house? Maybe. Now, this is my inspiration photo for the kitchen. And the reason I like it is because everything blends so nicely together. Now, usually I would never, ever, ever, ever buy this $6,000 commercial stove. But because this is my dream house, I'm not only going to be buying one, I'm also going to be buying two. Worst investment of my life. No, but like seriously 
though, I don't even cook in Bloxburg. When am I ever going to use these stoves? Never. Now, before I start coloring everything, I just want to place down the furniture first because that way I'll know where everything's going. So we're going to use oak shelves here instead of just cabinets. It gives the kitchen some depth. Okay, and as for the island bench, you know what? I think I'm gonna do a custom island bench. This is like my go-to island bench, if you don't know. If you don't have this in your kitchen, go add it in your kitchen. It's so simple. It's literally a vertical cylinder, a cube. Place the cube inside of the vertical cylinder. Another cube at the end, except you make this one flat, like a pancake. And then you literally just drag it up and then add some cute little plain pillars. Oh my gosh, my voice. Why do I sound like a 50-year-old smoker? That's ghastly, darling. Anyway, I add pillars at the bottom here because... Then it doesn't look like the island bench is just floating. And uh, you thought I was done? No, get pranked. You then go in with a semi-transparent and then just add it on top. So then it gives the table a nice risen look. But actually that looks stupid, so we're deleting it. Never mind. Now for the stools, typically I would never use these um simplicity stools. But you know what? If we paint it right, add a basic shape on top, maybe a tiny little pillow, then I don't know about you guys, but that looks like quite a comfy little stool. So next we just have to decorate the kitchen. Okay, I know this is toilet paper up here. Just pretend it's some um, paper rolls okay leave me alone <laughs> All right, I think that's it for the nice little decor. And we cannot forget our iconic custom-made cutting boards at the back of the kitchen. So this is it without color. And that is it after I've painted the kitchen. Hmm, I think I want to do this section here because this is going to be like an open area concept. And this is kind of what I want it to look like. Also guys, one more thing I forgot in the kitchen. Um, don't judge me. Is a sink. Okay, don't kill me. Disappointed! Now, to split, like, the kitchen from the open area, we might have, like, two fireplaces facing each other. So this way, we're not going to have a huge, like, open space without anything in it. I think even eventually I would like to add or replace these sofas with a pool table. That's what I might do in the future, but for now, we're just going to leave it chairs because I am too lazy to make a pool table. Wow. I was not kidding when I said this is going to be, like, the most basic section of the house. Now, I would have a TV in here, but this is meant to be, like, the family room where we all talk to each other instead of just looking at the tv so you know what no tv in here instead we're just gonna have a nice chandelier and that is our little tiny open area now considering the backyard's done we might as well work on the garage in here now the thing with the garage is i literally want it to be empty most garages nowadays are just filled with clutter and junk but i do not want that instead we're gonna have two cabinets a floating counter here with some tools and a toolbox this is gonna be alaska's man shed <laughs> Nah, but if we're being completely honest, if I picked up any of these weapons... Did I just call tools weapons? <laughs> I meant if I picked up any of these tools, someone would most likely lose an eye. So the more I stay clear from all this stuff, you know, the safer it is for everyone. And then all we're going to do is have a massive round carpet with another custom chandelier like we done outside. So then when we place our car in here, you'll be able to see it from all angles of the house, which is really cool. That's something that I've wanted to add in my house for ages, except I've just never had the opportunity to add it so kind of excited now next things lads is the bathroom which is this little three by three now this is kind of my inspiration for the bathroom i want to go with a very dark modern theme mixed with again a lot of greenery when i say dark modern i mean literally all the walls are going to be made out of slates we're going to cut these two walls up here and usually i have big windows covering the entire wall but not this time darling this time we're going to add little thin clear windows Damn, why is that already looking like so cool though? You know what? We're using the most expensive shower set. I don't even care. And yes, this is going to be a two person shower. And you're like, um, Alaska, why is there gonna be two people in the shower? Well, obviously it's gonna be me and my alter ego. <laughs> what else? Duh. This is my alter ego. Anita Max Wien. Anita Max Wien. And for a cute little sink, of course, an iconic custom-made sink. Actually, you know what? To break up this room, we might make this back wall out of tiles. Yeah, that looks better. And I'm guessing, like, the toilet can go right here. You know, we're gonna have a floating toilet. I feel like if I had a floating toilet, I'd be scared to break it. Like, you cannot tell me you don't sit on that toilet and then it's like, I'm gonna break this thing. Like, it's literally floating in the air. The only thing supporting you is the wall behind you.
And the last thing I'm gonna add in this bathroom is LED lights around the entire shower. I'm talking the sides of the walls. And then look at that, absolutely stunning. You know what would be better than yellow though? White. Yeah, white looks heaps better. Okay, so that is the downstairs bathroom done. The last room we have downstairs is of course the guest bedroom. Now for the guest bedroom, I think I wanna do a zen theme. And then for my main bedroom, I wanna do completely dark modern, if that makes sense. So to make this very zen, Maybe at the back where our bed's gonna be, we can have some nice plain thin pillars. Oh my god, this is what comes up when I type up zen bedroom. You best believe we're doing something like that. <laughs> Whoever's staying in this bed's gonna be one lucky individual. Also, the reason I added like the most basic bed known to man is because I'm literally gonna put a basic shape underneath it. So then it'll look like the bed is on top of a crate of some sort. I kind of forget that Bloxburg has a uh, comforters. I like never use comforters. You know what, we're gonna have a comforter, a messy long blanket, and another messy blanket. I want there to be so many blankets on this bed. You will get lost. Why would, Why would you say that? Why would you say that? And not just that, pillows as well. I don't know about you guys, but I have a feeling I'm gonna like the guest bedroom more than my bedroom. <laughs> and I haven't even started my bedroom yet. <laughs> That is the bed all done. Oh, that actually looks so comfortable. And then the opposite side of the bed, we're just going to have a closet, which is also technically going to be my little study desk. And this is how it turned out. So now that that is the downstairs area all complete, the next thing we can work on is, well, of course, the basement. And what we're going to have in the basement is just going to be the movie theater. However, before we do that, we need to get some stairs going on. I was going to have an elevator, but I saw this photo on Pinterest and I'm like, oh my God, I have to have my stairs like this. So that's literally what we're gonna do. All because I saw a photo on Pinterest and I was like, yep. This is really confusing though, because it looks like they had some of these modern stairs, kind of in an L shape like this. And then to make this very in with nature, like the photo, we're literally gonna fill the back up here with waterfalls, like a lot of waterfalls, mixed with some vines. And then all we have to do is place modern windows like this. And because it's like super dark, we can't really see what's going on. We're gonna have to add plenty of lights in here to make sure it's fully lit up. Cause I mean, there's no point of adding a really gorgeous garden if you can't see it. And now hopefully if this turns out good, when we go up to our stairs, this is how it turns out. Oh, that looks so nice. What the hell? Damn, okay. Feels like I'm in Avatar with those stairs. Nice. Now, like I said before, the movie theater is going to be pretty simple. One more thing we are going to do, though, is make this entire thing a basement. So then if we go into the roofs, we can fill this section up with our basic shapes because this way we can have three layers of seating. Kind of like in this photo here. See how there's three layers of seats? That's kind of the whole look that I want to achieve. I keep forgetting that I have like a projector in the game. I, I never use this projector. Like, I don't know why, it's just so boring. So instead what I like to do is get a basic shape and then have like a massive painting and then go ahead and outline it with some LED light. And I don't know about you, but that looks way better than a boring, crusty, dusty old projector. I think we're just gonna do classic movie theater couches, AKA these leather armchairs. Oh, and we can have like white leather armchairs. This is making me wanna have my own movie theater. Maybe in between these chairs, we'll have a wicker end table. So then this way, if you have popcorn or something, you can just place it on the table right next to you. And like any movie theater, we'll need iconic movie posters. A bench back here with some popcorn, because I mean, duh. We just talk about how awkward it is eating popcorn at a movie theater though. Especially when you're watching like a horror movie. Oh my gosh, it's so awkward. The movie theater is like silent and I'm just like trying to crunch down on my popcorn. I don't know why it's so embarrassing, but it is. Okay, what else should we have back here? Well, we need some candy. Like, every movie theater needs some candy bowls. Oh, wait, what's this? Cotton candy machine. I don't think I've ever actually bought one of these. You know what? I'm gonna buy one. Cotton candy stresses me out, though, because, like, as soon as you put it into water, boom, it's gone. Scary. And then to make this picture stand out, big fat stage lights. All right, so that is our movie theater, which means the basement is done. I don't know why this basement is so creepy. Look how creepy this basement is. I don't know what to put in it because I've never like owned a basement before. I feel like where lots of people live, it's very common to have a basement. No one in Australia owns a basement. Like. What? That's just creepy. Anyway, now the last thing we have to do is the upstairs area. And I think I want to start off with the gym because the gym has like the best Damn view in the entire my. house. Anyway, this is my inspiration photo for the gym. Very zen, very calming, if you will. That's kind of the vibes we're going for. Okay, what do we have in a gym? We have um dumbbells. <laughs> 
Guys, I promise I go to the gym. I know what I'm doing. Wait, can we paint the weights pink? Oh, we can't. That's stupid. I wanted pink weights. See, I'd be more motivated to go to the gym if my weights were pink. Like hot pink. Hell yeah. All right, this back here is going to be where we can have gym storage, if you will. My basketball, my soccer ball, and me another basketball. Okay, with a zen theme, everything in my gym has to be like beige, kind of. Because, I mean, it's a zen gym. Hello. And, of course, lots of towels so we're not sweating our bums off. This is so awkward. We have, like, the gym equipment. And then right across from this, we have sun chairs. Like, if you're going for a run, you're just going to be staring at the person sunbaking in there. Love that. Okay, maybe a lifting bench in the middle and then on this section we can have all of our weights. Okay, so that's our gym. I could have probably done better, but guess what? Don't care. So, <laughs> moving on. Huh? And then the next room we can move on to is my master bedroom, which also includes its own master ensuite and its closet. So now that I'm looking at it, I should have definitely made the gym my master bedroom. I don't know what I was thinking, but I want to go with a very dark modern theme. Make it very dark and spooky in here. I'm pretty sure I done full slate for the downstairs bathroom, but for this ensuite, we're going to do tiles. And then for my closet itself, we're just going to have a glass double door and a cute little traditional closet by the window. If I paint this closet black, it looks like all the clothes are floating which is kind of cool so then next we need my bed we've got like three places i can place my bed but the only problem with this is we don't have many windows in here so you know what? i think i'm gonna have my bed here i finished doing the bed i would cozy up in that any day don't get me wrong, I love this bedroom, but it's so awkwardly placed. <laughs> but you know what? We'll make it work. So we got the bed here. I just realized though, we do not have a TV. So I reckon the TV would look really nice here along this wall. And because we have a cute little fireplace here, what I love about this fireplace is, is that it looks on the outside as well as the inside. I don't know, which is kind of cool. We can just have like one fancy lounge chair, like near the fireplace. Oh, damn. Now we're talking. And you know what? With the power of plants... This is the bedroom before plants. And then this is what the bedroom looks like after plants. Honestly, I think that is the best improvement yet. So that is the bedroom done. For a final touch, we might just add like a chandelier or something. And then that is our bedroom. So now we can move on to the ensuite, which is going to be pretty identical to the downstairs ensuite. Except this one's going to have a bath, guys. I know. Downstairs, we didn't have the room to add a bath. So yeah, I don't care. This time we're adding a bath. Also, why does Ange keep sending me either $69 or $420? What are you up to, Ange? I kind of want to have like a dark slate bathtub. Ooh, like that. Mm -mm -mm. And uh, you guessed it, mixed with some more plants. So there's our bathtub. Now we just need the sink and then our toilet. And then voila, the bathroom is complete. So now the last room we have to do in this house is my office. And I already know exactly what I'm doing for my office. I've had this vision in my head for ages. And firstly, this requires two fireplaces that face each other. We're going to make this back wall out of slate. So it's nice and dark modern. And as this is my office, we're going to do all my work here. So we need my initials on the fireplace. Speaking of my initials, when you type up Alaska Violet face reveal, it literally comes up with a picture of Alyssa Violet. Y'all remember Alyssa Violet from Team 10? That's who comes up when you search up Alaska Violet face reveal. Like, Y'all, do y'all think I'm Alyssa Violet? Because uh-uh. Anywho, <laughs> now we need my desk. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to be like super fancy and have like an anchor desk. You know one of those like news anchor desks? Yeah, we're going to do that. Don't ask because I do not know. <laughs> Damn, you know what though? The desk actually looks pretty cool. You know, this can be where I film all my videos. So we'll need my computer here. If we want to go the extra bit fancy, we can even make like a fake PC. And then there's our desk. <laughs> and then in case I need to yell at people we're gonna have two desks facing my chair we're gonna have two chairs facing my desk oh my gosh i'm losing my ability to speak today okay and then boom my office is done which means my dream home is finally complete and comes to a total of drum roll please <gasps> $769,000. Damn. So let's have a look inside. Okay, so if we make our way up this very, very big driveway, we can then make our way inside the house going through this massive door and we are greeted with the gorgeous living room, which has a gorgeous view of, well, the sunset. I actually love the way this turned out. It's so minimalistic. Everything about it is just mwah, chef's kiss. Oh, beautiful. 
no pun intended. And I think one of my favorite thing about this house is the garage that you can see all throughout your house. Like literally, if you're in the kitchen over here, you know, cooking up a little meal, boom, you got your car right there. Perfect if you're a car person, which I am not. But if you are, this would be perfect for you. And then if you go around here, we have our little outdoor seating area. I love how it's so open as well. Like if we just want to go for a swim, we are in the water. And then you literally, if you want to go upstairs, you can go up these stairs and have a little sunbake. Bada bing, bada boom. And then if we come over here, this is where all of our guests stay. Personally, this is where I would stay because this room is so nice. It's so zen and calming and I just love the view as well. And then if we make our way into the basement, we have the one and only movie theater playing um, a horror movie about me. In this movie, I'm an axe murderer and if you aren't subscribed to the channel, then um, let's just say uh, you're gonna wanna subscribe or else. Anyway, moving on to the upstairs area. Also, these stairs as well. Can we just talk about how cool these stairs look? I was so proud when I done them. Okay. Okay, so in here, this is my little mini office where I do all my very important work. I love the fact that there's like a PC as well. Really adds to the whole realism that I'm going for. So yeah, once I'm done with my work, I will then head to the gym, which is over here, and show off my amazing workout skills. <sighs> Now, one thing I think we can all agree on is the fact that this gym has the best view in the entire house for sure. Well, duh. Like now that I'm actually in here myself, I definitely should have made this the master bedroom. I probably will in the future. Like I'm gonna keep this house for a while. But yeah, if you even wanna go outside, we've got a door here that leads into the second floor balcony. And we even have a balcony on the roof, guys. We're that extra. And then last but not least, we have my dark modern bedroom. Nothing too fancy. However, it does have its own balcony up here. Like, uh, hello. It also has its own ensuite with again amazing view of the surrounding area and as well as its own closet so this bedroom really does have everything you need and yeah overall i am super happy with how this turned out and i'm definitely going to keep this house for a while so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one bye